Welcome to 15 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes a whole production into 900 seconds. The date is Wednesday the 6th of January 2019, and I have just been to see The American Clock. Open the house. Bonjour, Jimbo. How are you? I am pretty good, thanks. How are you? Well, that's not what I heard. What did you hear? I heard you weren't well. Who told you that? You did, when you stood me up for the theatre. Oh, when did I... St- oh, I had a bad knee. I know. I've still got a bad knee. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right, it's fine, I can still walk. Okay, but I... So it meant that I went to the theatre without you. Solo. Well... I, I got somebody... With, with someone else? <laughs> with somebody else. You traitor. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, I had a bit of trouble with this play. What was the trouble? Well, my friend who I went to see with... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, English is not his first language. Okay. And although his English is very good... Yeah. It's quite a heavy play, Arthur Miller. Yeah. And guess how long the first half was? How was it? An hour and 40 minutes. What the heck? Now, we're going to talk about lengths of plays, I Are think, we? In, over the next couple of okay, podcasts. Fine. But I think that's too long. How long was the second half? Well, I didn't see the second half on the first attempt. Okay. I then Why got... not? Because the first half was so long. It was a bit gruelling, I thought. Okay, for uh, your friend that... Yes. That... Okay, yeah. So, I then got tickets to go and see it again. Yeah. Unfor- so far, this is a pretty thrilling podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, I didn't get to go that time. Why not? Because of circumstances. Oh, my goodness. So... I finally got tickets again. How much money have you I spent know, on don't, this? I don't ask. Because I'm really the old want... Vic. You know they're like angling for new toilets at the moment. You've just got <laughs> booted quite heavily. <laughs> anyway, I saw the second half. Did you? Another Ooh. hour. That's, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, especially because the guy s- told me it was only forty minutes. We've seen longer plays, though. Yes, but I think yeah, fair enough. Anyway, shall I get on with it? Yeah, come on. Because it's only fifteen stuff. minutes. All right. So it was um, written by Arthur Miller. Famous man, married Dar- to Marilyn Monroe for a little bit. A brief moment. Yeah. Uh, directed by Rachel Chavin. Um, the sound was Darren Lewest. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think. Okay, fine. Or it could be Darren L. West. Okay, well, I'll go with whatever you want. Choreography and Ye. Yep. I'm going to speed through the whole ensemble cast. Okay, good. I hope there's some good names here for you. Tahim Modak, Christian Patterson, Saleh Rini, Gold Rishuvul, <laughs> Sorry, Abdul what was Salis, Stop It, <laughs> Josie Walker, Ewan Wardrop, Amber Arga, Paul Bentel, Greg Bernstein, Claire Burt, Flora Dawson, Abreen Galea, Fred Haig, Gia Dar, James, John Marquez and Francesca Mills. I think this is one of my favourite parts of the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> And it's at the vent, um, it's at the Old Vic, and it's running till the thirtieth of March. Oh, bonjour. So, you can't give me the synopsis, so I will. Okay, what, Jimbo? What can you give me a brief synopsis? Yes, yeah, it's all brief ab- one. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's all about um, Arthur Miller's recollections of the Great Depression. Okay, and that kind of ran through the thirties, basically in America. S- so, is it depressing? It's quite depressing. Okay, based in New York. Yeah. Um, and the Great Depression, I think, finished about the t- same time as the Second World War, which kind of makes me think that Americans did quite well from war. They did well from the war? Yeah. They had quite a lot of money out of the war, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. They had that war, and then they had the Korean War, and then they had the Vietnam War. I think they mentioned all these wars at the end, you Did see. they? Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Um, it had three main characters. Yeah. Uh, husband, wife... And some, and it kind of focused at the start around the stock exchange. Okay. Um, but what was different is that they have three people playing the three parts. So they have three sons, three mothers, three fathers. We've seen this before. Mm. Wise children did the same thing at the same theatre. Don't think it worked. Really? Yeah, it was. I just don't didn't see the point of it. Okay. It it was a beautiful ensemble. Yeah. But. There was a few parts where they all they all spoke at the same time, not for long. Okay. But they couldn't. Was get... it like different ages? They were you really young. No, and... no, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay. All the same ages, um, colour blind and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, 
Yeah, just into the point of it, really. Yeah. It made sense in Wise Children because they were different ages. Yeah, but no, not at all in okay. this. Um, and, but what it did do really well is kind of uh, show all the people um, who are making loads of money from the stock exchange and then somebody kind of foresaw the crash and it all just went from bad to worse for people. Okay. Now, all the performances were okay. Yeah? Yeah. Better than okay. They were good. Shall I take your page of like what things you normally ask me and I'll ask oh, you? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, so uh, good. Uh, how, what was the staging uh, slash style like? <laughs> okay, so the staging it was um, on the uh, they had audience at the back, mm-hmm. so it was kind of in the round more or less. Oh really? Um, I've seen that in the old bit before. Yeah, and, and there was somebody behind me, and the third time I, I managed to go and see it who was going, oh, they must have changed the whole theatre just to make it more accessible. And oh. I was thinking, no way. It's not a very accessible theatre, is it? No, but um, I had good seats, so that was all right. Um, and it looked like a stock exchange, and they kind of wheeled in the old prop every now and then, okay. table and stuff. So there you go. Okay, and what about the performances? You've sort of touched on them a little bit already. Yeah, all good to have... Very good. Okay. Two outstanding people. Yeah. One was um, they had a little performer... Yeah. I think that's the right phrase. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, now, I've got to think about this because they, uh, she had two things to overcome. Yeah. She obviously, um, her height, when she's a performing, when it's not about her being small, Yeah. she has to uh, get over that and do the performance. Yeah. I'll tell you what, she was outstanding. Yeah. Okay. There was, there was a bit where she came in and talked about her... Uh, we just heard that uh, her brother had... His stocks had crashed and he'd thrown himself out of the window, killed Ooh. himself. And she came in, she played this 70-year-old girl, and she went, excuse me, it's so nice here, and I haven't got any money, all the money's gone, and have you seen my brother? And i tell you what, it was such a startling I mean, you've really sold it to me with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what was, who was the other one? Um... Every now and then, there was like a bag lady that came on who had the most amazing voice. Was it like the Feed the Birds lady from America? Poppins? Yes, except she was black and American. Did she sing? Yeah, oh, oh. my God, really good jazz. There was a yeah. jazz band and it was... I mean, her voice, Vicky, you would have been... Oh, I love a good singer, yeah. Um, so those were great. But then they kind of went too far with some bits. So there was a bit where they got a guy tap dancing just for the sake of it. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a bit of tap dancing. Well, yeah, but when, you, when you've been watching it for like an hour and 35 minutes and much. you're thinking, God, we've got Cut to Cut all the unnecessary, unnecessary stuff out. Exact to Monday. Okay. Right, let's move on to, what did you like about it? Um, I liked the stories and I liked the slow decline. So, the, um, like the, the mother, one of the, she, she had like diamonds to start with and they all went and the one thing she wanted to keep hold of was her Where piano. Where did they go? Someone steal them? Um, she's old, born, oh, born. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the one thing she wanted to keep hold of was the piano. Yeah. And then that went at the start of the second act. Oh, yeah. okay. And what did you not like about it? The length. Okay. <laughs> and what about the the plot? Was it a good plot? No, it, it wasn't really. It was kind of a secret. It really was a sequence of different scenes which depicted it. Because Arthur Miller's pretty good, isn't he? Do you think it was a bit dated? <sighs> As a histo- I think as a historical piece, and I know it seems odd to say historical when it's so modern, yeah. but a historical piece I mean, looking the war, at the Great it, Depression. It was, that's like, you know, not sh- far shy of being 100 years ago. Okay, but that is, I'm sorry. <coughs> so yeah, it was good for that. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, special effects, lighting, anything to shout about there? Yeah, not really. Okay. Sound of music? Obviously sound of music? To, sound of music. Sound and music. Obviously, um, we talked about the yeah. brilliant jazz. I mean, singer. I don't like jazz, as you know. I, I, I didn't realise you hated it. <laughs> well, I don't like I don't okay. like the whole... Da, 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 da. Not all jazz is like that. No, nah, and I realised that, yeah. because this was great. It had a very... It, 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 similar music as in a film that you might have heard of, The Shining. I've heard of that film, yeah. Yeah. I hear it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, any standout moments? Uh... Stand up moments. Well, I I think when um, that performer was talking about the death of her brother and just her naivety, she'd go, "I'd have to live on chocolate." Bars. I really like your accent. <laughs> it's not going to offend was just anyone like ever. That. It's okay. not going to offend it. That's a perfect rendition. It's pretty good. Yeah. You didn't hear her. Anyway. I didn't hear her. Anyway, 
That's enough of that nonsense, isn't it? Yeah, Your okay. Waffle. Let's have a little break. Oh, okay. And we're back from the little break. I got really good seats for my third attempt. Yeah. And they were on the f- main circle yeah. in the middle. The dr- Is that the grand circle? Let's call it the dress circle. Uh, we're coming to the scoring Ooh, stage now. I get complete control. I can make it the highest thing ever. I know. Uh, so, we're going to go for performances. Um, I'm going to give it a seven. Staging technical. Uh, seven. Narrative plot music. Six. Originality. Six. Was it worth it? <sighs> well, if you divide, I'm gonna right, I'm gonna give a number. Yeah. And I, I, my number was eight, but yeah. I'm gonna divide that number by three because that's well, that's because that's, that's the amount math. of times I went to see it. Okay. So it gets three. Do I have to do the scores now? I've not got calculator. Yeah. I can do it. But I, can do it. I will tell the audience. The listener, what we're going to see next. So we're going to see something called Follies at the National Theatre. Um, and it's a it's a comeback. It, uh, there was an original run and it's back for a second run. So we're very excited about that. So I don't normally do this. Yeah, let's see how you cope And it. so normally, this is your maths version, but there's only one of us. What would you say that was? I would say it gets... A 2.9. A 2.9 star okay, rating. so let's say... Okay, so 2.9. Let's see where this pluses us. I can't believe you doing the, the script thing. Well, you know. We I'm, should swap it around a bit. Well, I don't know about this. So 2.9 places at the bottom of our leaderboard. Oh, no. Underneath the wider no. earth. <laughs> Wait. Do you know why that is? It's because because I'm more generous than you. <laughs> no, because I scored that, um, was it worth it? Thing so low, but I'm not going to change my score. Okay, fine. Because, but it, there's only ten things, so you know it could that we could see things that are a lot worse. And do you know what? I'm kind of glad because I feel like the wider earth is like my adopted child, and well, it needs a bit more looking after. It's nominated for an Olivia Award. Oh yeah, for best family something or other. I don't know how they came up with that. Well, the kids liked it, didn't they? Anyway, we're not talking about that. Now. No, we're not. So we're all done. Oh, what's that noise? <laughs> Of like jangly jingly thing going on. <laughs> uh, the theatre bells happened, so I'm just going to turn to the page three and change the script. Huh? I feel like I want to jazz it up a bit. So uh, that's the theatre bell, which we just heard, which means sadly we no longer have any time left for this. Thanks everyone for your time, your patience, your love, your support, and it's for not listening. A speech, Jesus. <laughs> I've been Vicky. Oh, I've been James. So the curtains down. The theatre's dark. And that was 15 Minute Theatre. Good night! Good night!